in the second day of PN Community Coaching Program, e Khel Part Sala. And uh, here we have a very eminent speaker with us, Professor Vivek Pandey, sir. And the topic he will be delivering in concept of fitness, health, wellness. So, uh, I, without taking further much time, I would like to request our uh, beloved principal, sir, Dr. G. Kishore, sir, to uh, please introduce our speaker for the session and uh, uh, welcome the participants. Sir, over to you, please. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Narendra. So I take the proud privilege of introducing my uh, good friend, classmate, uh, Professor Dr. Vivek Pandey, sir, Vice Chancellor, LNIP Qualier. Is he will be taking the session on the topics, concepts of fitness, health, physical, education, sports, and lifestyle. We don't think that there is any better person who can take in the country or all over the world on this subject as of now. Uh, uh, Dr. Vivek Pandey, sir, is a very eminent academician, distinguished speaker, scholar, and had proved his mettle in various academic pursuits. Uh, he's faced presently uh, officiating as the vice chancellor of LNIP Gwalior. He is the HOD of the exercise physiology department of LNIP. He is uh, having uh, you know highest academic qualification of uh, PhD, MPhil, and post graduation in physical education. Uh, he had tremendous work experience uh, of the 36 years of academic career, and he was the coordinator of research lab development program at LNIP played a pivotal role in development of the institution and especially the research and his subject on exercise physiology. He uh, acts as a subject experts for various board exams uh, and also for the Uttar Pradesh Higher Education Service Commission. So acted as member of board of studies for Bilaspur University, Bilaspur and Barkatullah University, Bhopal and various other institutions. He has got uh, a lot of research and publication, 22 years of undergraduate level studies, 19 postgraduate level, taught exercise physiology research methods methods in physical education, guided 24 MPhil scholars for their dissertation. He also a study on the investigation on recovery patterns of long distance runners in relation to blood lactate proceedings internet were presented under the International Congress of Sports Psychology uh, in Delhi in the year 2014 and much more various other publications. Uh, we are really privileged to have uh, Dr. Vivek Pandey sir as uh, a resource person and who is to be delivering this lecture. I'm sure that uh, they are, all the participants will be greatly benefited out of his uh, expertise and uh, there, there is a lot of things to learn from him. And I, I, will, I am also sure that you will get some time for an interactive session where anyone want to take up any uh, any any uh, related topics matters for uh, deliberation also can be uh, uh, by the end of the session you would be able to do. Uh, uh, we fondly remember Professor uh, Dr. Vivek Pandey sir as a faculty member of this institution too, way back in the uh, 90s, and I'm sure uh, you know uh, LNIP will uh, is greatly benefited by the presence of uh, Prof. Vivek Pandey sir, and I welcome him wholeheartedly on behalf of the uh, Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs, on behalf of the uh, this uh, our uh, institution and on behalf of all those who are present here. Welcome to you, sir, and over to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Respected principal of LNCP, Trivendram, and uh, all other professional colleagues, uh, this topic is a combination of many, many things. Uh, let me try to make the things as simpler as possible and uh, as practical as possible. So I'll be just starting with a simple concept of health. And uh, this, uh, what we know already, already know from the definition of health that uh, WHO has given, and it is going on from many, many states. But the thing is, how, how we take up the different aspects of this definition, physical, mental, social well-being, and other than this, there are many other things also. So this is what is the basic concept. When we talk about physical, then the first thing comes about the physical fitness. And as we are in physical education profession or sports profession or sports-related profession or in normal life also, we see that 
physical fitness is a very important uh, uh, aspect of our uh, daily living as well as competitive sports also so then what is that what it includes it is the combination of quality that enables a person to perform well in vigorous vigorous act physical activities physical fitness is the ability to perform the task effectively and efficiently then being physically fit a person can enjoy the leisure time be healthy and overcome emergency situation this is very very closer to what what is the uh, all round concept of health also other than disease concept if you leave leisure time and ample time basically physically fit effective and emergency situation all these things means you should have sufficient energy to perform the task which you are responsible for the most important thing is that if you are a sports person if you are a basketballer physical fitness of a basketballer is a separate thing the demands are different then a fitness then the physical fitness of a badminton player or a kabaddi player or a kho kho player or a yogi a yogi a yoga practitioner so that is what is the concept that the capacity of a sports person to do training and practice of his or her game sports without undue fatigue and no no you can go undue fatigue uh, and to meet emerging situations this what is the thing which is coming from early also so how can we do vigorous physical exercises from and the thing is what is required for that the most important aspect now is exercise is one aspect then from ex for exercise we need sufficient energy basic and basis that is proper nutrition and then sufficient rest some or the other way we neglect one or the other aspect and those who neglect these aspect they have problems in uh, this this particular aspect of fitness that is physical fitness if the nutrition is not or we call about balanced diet and other things then we cannot expect uh, simple in simple terms if i say you need protein sufficient protein you need sufficient carbohydrate you need fat you need minerals vitamins and all those things that is what is proper nutrition means so if you have a uh, lagging in any of the things then simple exercise will not take you higher or in simple terms you cannot take away take up the load which is required for proper phys physical fitness of a particular activity which you are uh, vowing for whatever you are needing whatever you are seeing towards you cannot if there is insufficient or imbalanced nutrition and then a very important aspect where the youth many times neglect is the sufficient rest or recovery whenever we take up training load so we have all studied about load and recovery they go simultaneously if sufficient recovery is not there loading cannot be continued for many many sessions and for that recovery is important if we neglect in many of the cases we say we see sometimes we even hear that they have done late night party and in the morning they could not perform well or the concentration or whatever is going on so this is what all is because of the insufficient rest unless we have taken in full rest sufficient rest we cannot attain physical fitness we cannot go for the next session of training if you go for that there might be injuries there might be lack of your load taking capacity you cannot take up that much amount of intensity you cannot that much amount of uh, duration or volume as such as a whole so all these aspects are very very important physical physical exercise nutrition and then sufficient rest many times nutrition and exercise we we take care of but sufficient rest we neglect so that is also a very very important aspect now and the aspect is there and the thing is coming up now very seriously very commonly that is health related physical fitness what is this another aspect so this is more or less 
a refined form for non sportsmen also when we talk about high level of physical fitness and high level of it is required for everyone but health they have just modified it that those who are not able to take up or those who are not concerned about high intensity of loads they should have this much health related physical fitness at least so now what is this health related physical fitness it is important for health and performance of daily functional activities not the competitive sports not the training high intensity loading and training and recovery and rest all these things but you should be able to perform daily functional activities what is whatever is expected from you as a daily routine that should be the main idea behind that is the main idea behind this health related physical fitness and the components are cardiovascular fitness these components are also there in physical fitness but many of the concept uh, components are not going up to that much intensity in the definitions so how uh, what are these things how the how we define the components in relation to health related physical fitness when we talk about health related physical fitness cardiovascular endurance cardiovascular endurance the ability of heart vessels and lungs to deliver oxygen to the working muscles and and products of any metabolism is the waste product removal of waste, waste product during activity so when we talk about endurance cardio respiratory endurance or muscular endurance we should understand when we talk about endurance it is the duration which is much more lengthier and we should be very very clear if the duration is lengthy the intensity cannot be very high so this concept we should actually understand then we can modify according to our needs so whoever is behind whoever is interested in all these things the the relationship between the strength maximum strength and endurance is this only in maximum strength the duration is less and the intensity is high and in endurance the duration is high and the intensity cannot be high both are not possible simultaneously both are not possible simultaneously there is in between we say strength endurance speed endurance in between there is a stage say 1500 meter runners for them otherwise sprinters strength higher distance runners endurance and from endurance very very specific is cardiovascular endurance it is not the muscular endurance but cardiovascular endurance this can be improved by living by giving the load on your cardiovascular system on your heart on your blood vessels on your respiratory system and this has become very very especially important after corona after corona it has become very very important because lungs we are, we still find we still hear about the cases that he he was fit while playing suddenly collapsed because this is because of the non development of your cardio respiratory system cardio respiratory system is not fully fully recovered if it is not fully recovered and the load load which you are giving is much more higher then we have these problems and specifically the corona has created these from still much more because of the oxygen oxygen carrying capacity oxygen transferring capacity oxygen holding capacity whatever we say the first measurement when we we were having these problems or those who are having problem is your oxygen saturation they say so if the lungs are not able your blood is not having sufficient uh, hemoglobin it is not transferring the uh, actually basically we were seeing this thing from corona from the lungs how much is the expansion how was the lungs tissues are expanding or fibrosis is there so these were it was in, in, impacting our cardio respiratory endurance lungs were not fully expanding and when they were not fully expanding then our oxygen carrying transferring system was affected and these were the problems so cardiovascular endurance has become very very important especially after this and whatever we are doing in 
long distance um, running long distance cycling swimming aerobic activities all aerobic activities are uh, responsible for improving the cardiovascular endurance the second thing is muscular endurance this was from the muscles how longer you can carry on against the resistance longer the muscular resistance is the ability of the muscles to exert continuous force against resistance or sustain muscular contraction during activity and naturally when we are talking about endurance with low intensity and high volume the duration when the intensity is low we have to increase the volume if we have to improve the endurance if the intensity is low and you are not increasing the volume it will not have any effect anywhere significant effect rather you can say it will have effect somewhere but significant effect or you will not be attaining the target of improving your endurance your muscular endurance so that is is the most important thing the muscles how longer you they can keep contraction of the um, muscular system and it is when you are talking about long longevity of the contraction the intensity will be low as i told earlier also volume will be high the third aspect these two were about endurance the third is about muscular strength ability of the muscle to exert maximal force against resistance during activity of high intensity when they are of high intensity the volume or the duration cannot be longer we cannot continue with 100 200 or 400 meters speed contraction cycle for a longer duration so you cannot just multiply if he takes 11 seconds in 100 meter or in 1000 meters he can just multiply this is not possible in 100 200 up to 400 also they have now come to this extent this is possible and sometimes um, the multiple of 100 is uh, uh, more than the uh, duration of the 400 if you take the total cycle because the start and acceleration phase and other things also and they they want to men they increase the maintenance phase there so that is what is the thing so it is the muscular strength ability of the muscle to exert maximal force against resistance during activity like weight lifting we know they are explosive strength things things 100 meter sprints long jump or throwing these are about muscular strength then flexibility it is the ability of the joint to move around in full range of motion the essential components which prevent the, it is the essential component which prevent injury and ensures a smooth and efficient movement women have better capacity than men examples are toe touching and other things many of the asanas and stretching exercises chakrasana etc they improve flexibility now i want to add certain more things other than this joint movement on d see we have studied about potential energy and kinetic energy at the basic level in school level we used to say the energy due to motion is kinetic energy and energy due to potential position is the potential energy here i want to add certain things see energy potential energy is also energy due to deformation energy due to deformation and there the, here we need flexibility the more you can stretch your muscles or deform your muscle from the normal condition the more force exertion can be there within the elastic limit i am talking about i am talking about within the elastic limit so if you you if you want to jump higher you have to bend more just one feet jumping contraction will be less more jump more contraction still more jump more contraction i am talking about summation of forces other muscles improve involvement and skill level and all these things you keep the things as common in that the flexibility plays a very very important role other than injury prevention force exertion also depends on flexibility and that's why 
improvement of flexibility is again very very important factor in any of the sports performance especially where we have to generate more force in force generation if we have to generate more force we have to deform the muscle more and more and more up to the up to certain limits you just see throwing just see jumping any uh, anything so there we have the importance of flexibility so we should understand this very very important aspect that flexibility is not only prevention of injury prevention of over stretching or um, tone of the muscle tear mus muscular tears and other things but core generation is important and when i am talking about within the limits it should be within the limits otherwise muscle tear and all other problems might come so this is a very very important aspect and we should understand the role of potential energy here you just see a catapult aap jitna zyada usko rubber ko stretch karenge utna zyada energy production karti hai jitna zyada arrow bow and arrow usko bend hoga utna energy uh, production hoga if force is the only criteria when the target and the distance and the accuracy is the criteria in Uh, bow and arrow and other things it is another thing skills are other other aspects so we need need not to go for the maximum creation of force but where we need more creation of force flexibility is required and deformation of muscles are again very very important other than the joints uh, maneuverability or movability or uh, uh, joints angles and other things and the aspect of this uh, um, aspect of health is body composition this is also now becoming very very important especially for sedentary people especially for people who are not actually involved in main sports or those who are not in, involved in sports where we need muscle mass separately in some of the sports we still need the fat uh, fat uh, mass and other things just as in Uh, sumo fighters and other different games might also be there so this is very very important aspect it's the accurate body composition analysis is the way of describing how much different aspects of um, components are there fat protein muscle mass bone mass and uh, other aspects are there uh, in the in the body and th there are many many ways of measuring this thing when people try to lose weight do they talk about losing unwanted fat but they should understand if there is not a systematic procedure of losing weight they not don't not only lose the uh, unwanted fat they lose the muscle mass also so we have to be very very careful in these things we have to be very very careful if we are doing ultra marathons muscle mass will be uh, fat you will be losing but remember you will be losing the muscle mass also you will be losing the muscle mass also in too much long distance long durational activities and when when you lose too much of muscle mass strength is proportional to the cross sectional area of the muscles you will be losing some strength also in that so you should be prepared what is the target all the things you cannot hold in hands in two hands what is the target where we are having the main target and in this achieving this target we have to come we compromise with some other aspects also this is a very important aspect which i have talked about we were having a husband he used to run continuously for longer durations 10 kilometers 15 kilometers quite regularly she was a footballer after some time when uh, after say a year when she tried to go for kicking and things her kicking ability reduced then i told her i asked her what is the cross sectional area of your uh, force producing area mu muscles she said that it is it has shrunk because of the longer duration the cross sectional area of the muscle or uh, is has shrunk and the strength generation will be compromised with that so we have to be very very careful in these things in body composition controlling what we are targeting what we are 
or leaf fat mass we are reducing see we know that energy reserves in fat also carbohydrate is having minimum energy reserves then we move on to fat energy and then if we go beyond that protein becomes the energy source so we will be reducing the protein also we will be compromising that there also if it is too longer and there you will be compromising with your maximum strength also somewhere so you have to be very careful in analyzing these things where we have to concentrate on how much fat we want to lose how much and how much it, how it will be affecting the protein um, uh, composition also of the body so we have to be very very careful here are some of the ways by which we can um, judge the body composition bmi body mass index this is a very very basic concept and uh, for a sports person somewhere we we don't um, prescribe this thing because uh, this is having the weight versus height so if the weight is because of the muscle mass weight is because of muscle mass this will give the wrong picture of the bmi uh, composition or proportion because bmi is a ratio of weight and uh, height so that ratio if the weight is because of more of because of the muscle mass it will not be reflecting the actual fat status and your bmi can still be higher whereas you are a very very muscular person bodybuilder and other things so this is not a very recommended way of for those who are really in the fitness area professionally or otherwise also very care then there is a skill food measurement these are the very common things where we measure from three positions five positions or seven positions like this and then still much more reliable are coming now is underwater weighing quite reliable thing in the same line in the underwater weighing where we see the displacement of the water in the same line we are having this air displacement also the last which i have mentioned here it sees the air displacement it is it is actually the seeing the volume from volume and weight it 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 uh, measure give your uh, give you the idea about the body composition and then impedance method which is to flowing of very very mild current through the body and the resistance of the fat and the fluids we see and how much impedance is created it it calculates and then there is dexa method dual energy in x ray methods and other things in these are much more reliable methods the last um, you can say three or four are much more still reliable methods and there are new methods also coming up now another aspect is there performance related fitness this was general fitness minimum fitness which i i was talking about health related physical fitness now performance related fitness this is something other than health related fitness it is the combination of motor and skill related fitness and is also important for better health and it is very very important to game They, these performance related fitness are game specific or event specific components of motor fitness are strength endurance speed flexibility coordinate abilities in sports movement all components play their their role in combination with other components depending on the activity one component dominates the other just as i was just discussing 100 meter sprint there are certain components which are more important speed dominates uh, strength is there but for uh, longer duration things something else is required for skill there is coordinated ability is required so there are many other many many factors which are used in combination for performance related uh, fitness we cannot catch out of just i was giving example of kicking in football so there is not only kicking required there is continuous running is also required so their endurance aspect is also required equally but we have to see that where we are compromising up to which extent we can compromise in a, with one aspect in the same way coordinate ability how can you perform advanced skills if there is lack of coordinate ability there is lack of coordination between different group of muscles or your stimulus which is coming from the brain whether you are you talk about the um, uh, stimulus from the brain to the muscle 
or muscle muscle uh, transfer of the signals all these things are required so there are many many combinations then flexibility is also required so that is what the thing now let us cover these aspects strength quite uh, similar to whatever i have done earlier also ability of the muscle to overcome resistance so the role of strength in, is to maintain good posture good health prevention of injuries etc and then when we are talking about performance related if the posture is not correct summation of forces will not be done properly i was giving example of flexibility also you will not be pro properly having the proper flexibility of the muscles force generation will not be there strength outcome will not be sufficient so that is what is it is all important lifting throwing jumps speed kicking whatever is there endurance and the respect when we talk about duration then speed we know that speed of speed of movement it is it, it talks about so limbs speed whether it is arm speed hand speed whether speed in boxing or whether speed in kicking or speed in running whatever is required and then flexibility almost same whatever i have talked about above then coordinate ability it's the ability to quickly and purposefully perform a group of movements with better quality and effect also the resultant effect also should be better that is with the coordinate ability controlled by the central nervous system and the muscular system which is receiving these signals from the central nervous system or the peripheral nervous system later a skill performed by the sports person of different games and sports are examples of coordinate ability so whatever skill we are performing they are because of high level of coordinate ability once we get the definition of what is the health strength for then wellness and the respect whatever we have touched slightly and to confuse further the way to get it that elusive state of wellness seems to be lifestyle changes and to top it all you all need to make it lifestyle choices when we talk about wellness when we talk about everything it is a lifestyle choices we hear about the sports person not eating chocolate from many many years not not eat, eating certain type of food from many many years samosa or whatever is that so they are the lifestyle choices which the sports person or a normal person who is uh, interested in maintaining his fitness wellness uh, health related fitness all these things so he has to bring changes in his lifestyle also it is not only exercise will do i have talked about in the first definition only your nutrition your rest they are the lifestyle choices just loading is not the lifestyle choice i am taking sufficient load but the outcome is not as desired so you have to see all these change in the lifestyle whether sufficient rest is there or because of lack of rest we are unable to take up load next load next intensity next duration so if these things are not possible improvements will not take place wellness is defined as an integrated and dynamic level of functioning oriented towards maximizing potential dependent of or dependent on self responsibility so when we are giving them it a general shape wellness it depends on lifestyle choices self responsibility how are you controlling yourself how much responsibility you behave coach is not knowing what have you done in the night which movie you have seen up to late night and you are there on the ground next morning but it can be reflected with your reactions with your coordinate ability with your force outcome or with your endurance everything can be judged and this thing if these changes if you don't behave responsibly then these will have their effect in coming days they are sure to come injuries are very very easily uh, uh, easily uh, you can say uh, seen when the performance is when the sports person is not having sufficient rest 
sufficient rest is important recovery is important so these things are there now when we talk about this uh, wellness there are many many aspects in wellness also similar almost similar to the physical wellness this means minimum daily task we should do and do vigorous activities like swimming etc also to certain extent adopt healthful habits like routine checkups balanced diet exercise avoid destructive habits tobacco consumption drugs alcohol etc so these things are there and when we talk about wellness these are the various aspects nutritional aspect of wellness social aspect of wellness intellectual spiritual physical emotional all these are the aspects of wellness so when we talk about social wellness adjustability is the thing he is not well adjusted in the society you just see of the team in the teams in the performance many times you don't fit in the structure of the team work your colleagues also are not uh, uh, comfortable with your performance with you in the team if it is a individual game or more of independent individual performance related game it is not but in many of the team games this social adjustability understanding all these things are very very important and here these will create problems it creates the ability to interact with people around you and include family and friends how social wellness is there adjustability social adjustability is very very important aspect it involves the quality of good communication skill sympathy cooperation helpfulness which, which makes a person well adjust, adjustable in the society okay so how how you are communicating how well adjusted you are the most important the last term is adjustable how well adjusted you are in the group is your social wellness then emotional wellness how much comfortable you are how you react how much irritating you are becoming understand ourselves and cope with the challenges of life can you take up the loads or if there is not sufficient balance in your mental and physical activity then emotional wellness is affected controls stress anxiety and to express comfortably how how you can come not getting irritated many times there is students when we are in teaching when we are in coaching Um, thing or when we are in family life also because the many questions many of the situations we get irritated very soon it is the emotional wellness lack of emotional wellness and we should be very very careful about these things so if sufficient re- rest is there recovery is there balance is there then we can have we can attain emotional wellness share feelings of anger fear sadness joy love and happiness to become well adjustable in family and society that's why sometimes we say friends are required family is required social society is required so th- so that you can share all these emotions which are pent up there you have to bring them out some somewhere or so, in some places sports are a very good mm, uh, channel for this one is sports or exercise taking physical load to drain out this emotional congestion also when it is emotionally congested then sometimes we we blast sometimes we cannot maintain that thing we cannot sustain and emotional disbalances imbalances create problems emotional problems create created are also there and we are not adjusted in the society also with our in our family with our players with our teams with our friends with anyone so that's very very important and the next is intellectual wellness it helps in acting quickly and correctly in many situations you are not lost you are taking decision making ability properly you you take decisions properly if you aren't well properly if it is emotional wellness is not there physical wellness is not there they it is going to affect your intellectual wellness also it is the ability to think critically and make sound decisions correct decisions in time that is what is intellectual wellness sometimes we go to our certain friends we, let us ask him why we go for him because we know he is intellectually balanced he give good decisions he give good suggestions 
and that is what is your intellectual wellness in certain times of emotional breakdowns or emotional uh, unstability our intellectual wellness is also affected our physical wellness is also affected so all these are interrelated to each other for maintaining it we should try to expand our knowledge and improve our skill so knowledge and skill and it comes intellectual wellness comes with practice also when we go keep on doing practice in many of the activities where we mind game games are there many of the mind games are there it say it is whether it is um, uh, scrabble or it is chess or any other word word play any type of so they they are for improvement of intellectual wellness by taking giving it load otherwise with emotional uh, balance with uh, knowledge gaining and our experience we get intellectual wellness also then spiritual wellness able to establish peace and harmony in our lives this is very very important and a, more of a personal type of uh, aspect but it is it is reflected many in many cases of our uh, healthy living if you are spiritually well balanced then you are calm emotionally also in many of the cases you are balanced and meditation prayers give respect to religion and uh, positive attitudes towards life all these things improve emotional well uh, wellness and it makes a person uh, uh, ethically morally and spiritually sound when you are balanced spiritually you are much more sound emotionally the the spiritual wellness is also reflected in many of the cases you will very very cool and quiet in in difficult situations also so it is not only emotional balance intellectual balancing but spiritual wellness also plays a very very important role in this thing then nutritional wellness balanced diet nutrition is very very important for lifestyle in that junk food fast food uh, too much of uh, fried food and all these things are very very important to our matter of concern and then fresh food green vegetables uh, plenty of water plenty of sugar free liquids and all these things are very very important the things which we are getting as diet foods and other thing diet uh, fluids and other things they are not always recommended by by person those who are actually concerned nutrition nutritional wellness aspect they they might be stimulating they they you might feel recharged and stimulating mentally and physically but many times they affect your nutritional wellness they might not be very well recommended by the nutritionist so we have to be careful about this thing and we can take we should we must take a suggestion from the nutritional experts in this aspect and the aspect is now quality of life in healthy living the quality of life is very very important one can improve the quality of life by regular exercise and fitness this is very very important and we have, we and more and more people are have start, uh, started accepting this thing now exercise and fitness even uh, especially after corona uh, the awareness is still has um, gone to to more and more people those who are really concerned about early also they were still doing exercise but those who are not they were, those who are neglecting this important aspect of life they have also forcefully started thinking on these lines and this is a good change actually good change in uh, our lifestyle in our living the quality of life is changing now it has improved now the physically fit persons can manage the routine work efficiently without getting at undue fatigue and as easily uh, tackle any situations so it includes good human relations maturity and self respect in quality of life is good so all these things will automatically come and connected to this prevention of disease if you are doing regular exercise you are fit then many many disease can be preventive many can be prevented or delayed or the intensity will be lower your recovery will be much more faster you will recover much more faster but especially cardio respiratory diseases cardiovascular diseases they can be prevented by controlling regular exercise to a greater extent 
because if you are giving load to your heart you are giving load to your muscles you are giving load giving link go to your respiratory system and then the uh, nutrition transporting system that is the blood and then then automatically many of the disease can be prevented especially the heart diseases or many times lung disease also to certain extent take personal responsibility for health by avoiding such health risk like eating junk food tobacco and use tobacco use and less workouts these are very important just controlling food workout is also equally important as the diet you cannot compromise any of these things i am taking healthy diet but no workout i am doing good workout but no healthy diet all these things cannot be done cannot go hand in hand you can still maintain the thing okay if you are you are eating something you go for a more more uh, longer duration workout or heavier workout but this is not the proper way you have to have somewhere balance controlling the lifestyle checking the lifestyle maintaining the lifestyle living choices as i have told earlier that is very very important and then harmonious growth and development regular training can help your harmonious growth growth and development depends on how efficiently you are training and nutrition also these are very very important now certain other aspects let, let me come to unesco is talking now recently about the quality physical education sports and physical education are essential to youth to healthy lives to resilient societies and to fight against violence this is very very important the declaration of berlin 2013 unesco world sports ministries conference has declared that physical education is the most effective means of providing all children and youth with the skills attitudes values knowledge and understanding for lifelong participation in society physical education don't uh, go for definition of physical it means physical activities physical culture exercise understanding nutrition all these aspects which are including which are included in physical education this is very very important for all these things effective means of providing all children with healthy participation and lifelong participation in society this is very very important aspect physical education exposes young people to a range of experiences that enable them to develop their skills and knowledge they need to make the most of all opportunities today and to shape new forms of global citizenship adjustability we have seen sportsmen are better adjusted they have better adjustability those who go for exercise mix, mingle with other social adjustability and all these things we have, which we have seen earlier also so all these things help you to become better citizen better global citizen and expose all the opportunities uh, uh, whatever you get in your life so that is very even important it is more than just running around a track or kicking a ball it teaches children the key life skill alongside improving their health and well being and obesity continues to be to rocket highly and it's a critical thing it is it creates problem it's a hindrance in achieving these things sedentary lifestyle and obesity are very very uh, difficult situations which create problems for us promoting a positive mindset about exercise from an early age will help to keep everyone healthy and get older healthily that is very very important the new government is also in integrating holistic education and uh, sports integration they are integrating sports education in the total all round educational system the new education policy 2020 also talks about it it talks about the physical and mental health and we can see whatever is there what what all you get concentration and focus maintenance fight against obesity child obesity better quality of sleep relieves stress and anxiety improves teamwork and leadership skills positive body image 
improve self discipline develop confidence develop motor skills improve the behavior in skill in schools and in later stage also in your office also all these things are very very important and these are to be integrated in the normal education system and sports and physical education plays a very very important role in achieving all these things physical and mental health we have talked about social skills we have talked about self esteem and character development are another aspect which are very very important which we get to physical activity exercise and sports playing team sports in a structured setting which reinforces leadership and followership side by side and good sportsmanship so this is very very important and character development and esteem self esteem are developing this thing leadership playing various roles in a team and gaining new skills and courage is student to respect themselves and their peers so dif- different roles sometimes you are leader sometimes you are follower sometimes you are contributor as a team member all these things are very very important you know how to live in the team how to contribute in a team how to be a uh, contributing factor of a society these are very very important discipline is another very very important aspect of which we get through sports and can be both mental and physical discipline sometimes they they must accept decisions that may not that they might not agree i might not agree with decisions of the team this is of the captain this is of the coach but in team game we have to accept those things they are for the betterment and we have to as i told not only leadership but the followership also they are to be improved this teaches them an important life skill that will help them throughout their life and careers this is important not only always leadership not always forcing the things which we think are right sometimes other can also think rightly sometimes we might Uh, neg- we might have neglected certain aspects so in team games in sportsmanship in character development we 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 learn these habits these are habits which we see accepting others also to contribute not only whatever i am saying is the ultimate thing their contribution is also there then bet- better academic performance many out of many benefits of uh, the physical education carry over from playing fields and gymnasium into the classroom also leading to better academic performance these are the result of mer- various researches which we, which say that those who play those who perform and those who perform exercises those who are involved in physical fitness and activities and sports their results are also found to be better they perform better in their academics also research reveal that children who take part in physical education are better able to regulate their behavior and stay focused in class because it deviates you from the concentrate and concentrated effort of studies studies at studies only when you deviate you are refreshed that's why there sometimes no recreation refreshing so the energy is recreated the concentration is recreated the mental abilities are recreated by uh, deviating for some time in physical education activities or in physical activities this is very very important aspect and the aspect is physical literacy in new education policy importance is given in this physical literacy also physical literacy is the skill and attributes individual demonstrate through their through physical activity and movement across their life course again and again i am repeating those things adjustability is very very important understanding of the things your reaction time your ability to uh, assimilate to ability to understand in 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 sports field we are we understand some we are we see na uh, this limited over cricket sometimes in commentaries we hear he 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 um, judges the nature of next ball that's why he prepares himself mentally the batsman prepare himself mentally for the next delivery because it is the mental game between the bowler and the batsman he judges it it is not only in any of the games in any game take any game we just we judge the ability we judge the next movements of the opponents where there are opponents somewhere where there are not opponents we still judge 
how how to manipulate we have we see in long distance running there are dummy runners it is mental game sometimes they say in 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 throws also how 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 um, much pressure with your uniform with your with your way of warming up with your way of uh, putting up the things with your way of presentation it affects so it is all how you learn the things and all these learnings are not only limited in the sports field only they are transferred to your uh, further living social living your lifestyle your jobs and everywhere we, which where you go in your family living everywhere it can be understood as a process and as an outcome that individual pursue throughout through through an interaction of their uh, physical emotional social and cognitive learning so all these learnings which take place they are then transferred to your normal life also these are the four related domains that support holistic development of physical literacy to help all generations to lead active healthy and fulfilling lifestyle this is very very important okay and these are motivation and confidence effective learning motivation and confidence refer to an individual's enthusiasm for enjoyment and self self assurance in adopting physical activities as an integral part of life not only in sports field later also physical com competence refers to an individual's ability to develop movement skills and patterns and the capacity of to experience a variety of movement intensities and durations where this competence can be transferred physical competence can be transferred outside your sports field also as i have told in the ground in otherwise extra fitness in dealing with the and uh, the additional load which we get in some of the uh, demanding situations if the physical competence is there you can overcome those things because you are having you have already developed the habit you have learned the habit uh, the 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 ability of taking load extra load that comes through activities and physical fitness then knowledge and understanding this is cognitive learning includes ability to identify and express the essential qualities that influence movement understand understanding the health benefits of active lifestyle and appreciate appropriate safety features associated with physical activities in a variety of settings and physical environment so this is what is knowledge which you gain it helps in the in in further life also as safety features which are associated with activities they are transferred in the later life also in the same way engagement in physical activities for life in your change in modification in your behavioral pattern physical activities for life refers to an individual taking personal responsibility for physical literacy by freely choosing to be active on a regular basis you learn those things you become active otherwise also sometimes we see we we hear these comments these remarks from non sportsman or non sports person non physically fit person you are very energetic how you do it how you maintain these things so the answer is your in your physical activities with your training with your sports for participation all those things in that in these physical you the behavioral pattern is not only limited to your sports field only it is carried throughout your life in your cognitive behavior it is carried out and uh, the in your personal lifestyle it it is it is reflected also it means the manner or life in which the person lives it can be healthy or unhealthy based on many factors like food choice active uh, act, uh, activity level and behavior all these things are very very important and these are very important aspect of our lifestyle it improves physical fitness then prevention of health problems we have discussed these aspects earlier also development of mental health very very important mental health is a very very important aspect your anxiety and how you control how you handle the situations difficult situation because you see all these things you have you learn all these things in sports field in the ground 
you have seen these situations when the situations are not favorable how to handle those things so these things are carried in your later life also and mental health can be improved can be developed in these so when you handle the stressful situations of the life especially in the field of physical education uh, things so this is very very important aspect of your healthy living and we have to be careful about these things we we attain these things subconsciously also we attain when i am talking about careful about we have to, we know these things are carried and subconsciously also otherwise also they are carried some many times you don't know that you have attained these things but they are carried it is reflected in your behavior in the later life we are better adjusted in the society we are better we means those who are involved in activity those who are in, involved in physical exercise those who are involved in sports those who are involved in physical education they are better but in better situation to adjust in the society and this can be felt by the, by you or your peers they know that okay he are he is better he can manage these things he can manage the situation because in many of the situation you have seen these losing condition is still you come up or you have lost still you manage how to behave balance in the lifestyle so this is very very important aspect of lifestyle then how where it helps the exercises and other things health related things important aspect of health prevention of health threats regular physical exercise at least 60 minutes per day do stretching exercises running yoga recreational activities etc prefer only stairs instead of this is in normal life also when elevators are there or stairs are there if you have choices if you have time things prefer stairs instead of elevators walk instead of motorbike where you can do it we are seeing these things situations are changing we are hearing the boss comes in cycle he is coming in cycle he goes in cycle he goes in walk he he comes to the office by walk only because he says the office is only 2 kilometers 1 and 1/2 kilometers people lifestyle is changing regular workout is uh, improving we are we are indulging in more and more or we are deviating towards that type of lifestyle also now so it is it is going to help somewhere or the other then healthy eating habits and other aspect and a good eating eating habits dangerous diseases it, it, you can keep away from the dangerous diseases we don't know especially in our country type of thing where the details of the food material is not given in the box not given in the on the bag not given the um, on the on the on the um, packing where you from where you are taking that food so we have to be very very careful about these things we are improving the things are improving in the country also mandatory things are becoming you know we have to write more and more and if, even the um, uh, this uh, uh, you say uh, non uh, synthetic uh, fertilizers and these things these are taking our, our eating habits we are changing we are uh, moving towards that thing the society is also moving towards that thing greenhouse green uh, foods and all these things are going on we are moving towards but we have still a long way to go towards that thing then take healthy diet which includes fresh fresh vegetables fruits sprouts whole grain cereals etc these are very very important and we have to be careful about these things control use of electronic devices we read we hear somewhere or the other too much use of earphones too much use of uh, mobiles too much use of computers all these things in continuation sometimes they are compulsory they are mandatory they become uh, part of our office job work but still reduce it as far as possible or take breaks in between and do certain exercises certain movement so that you can recreate again in that aspect where you are losing excess of use of these devices can reduce the physical activity and increase the consumption of unhealthy food and beverages so beverages and other things we should reduce it also leads to sedentary lifestyle devices at tv mobile computers etc use them less than 2 hours in a day if it is choice it is mandatory 
substitute, give breaks, or do sufficient exercise also to to reduce the ill effects of these things. We we cannot run away from these things. They have become the reality of life. Also, we we must agree. But wherever we have choices, we should reduce the use of these things. Smoking, alcohol, drugs, and these things they should be quit to whatever extent you can quit. We we cannot justify the use of these things. Then adequate rest and sleep. From the very beginning, I am saying this is a neglected thing. Enjoy sound sleep at least seven to eight hours. Repairing of damaged tissues it is required. Proper rest in time to recover in daily from daily stretch and energy levels. Your metabolic uh, suppliers they are rehabilitated. They are rejuvenated. They are recollected. The body collects them again because you have broken them down when you you are doing exercise. So you have to refresh them. You have to give cope of cope of with them. You have to refill those things. Those things which have which you have burned during the different type of different intensity of activities. This is very very important. And then another important aspect is medical checkup. Mostly we go for checkup when we fell sick, feel 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 sick. So regular checkup should be a part of healthy lifestyle. Especially after attaining the age of forty, you should be regular, very very regular. Otherwise, also we should be concerned about these things and should have regular checkups. It includes checkup of sugar levels, cholesterol, and blood pressure. And there are many many type of checkups are going on. These should be, but these are very very basic things which are mandatory. Which should be done quite regularly. It helps to detect. And cure diseases in time. A stitch in time saves nine, so that is what is the thing here. Okay. Uh, now it is uh, from my side. It's okay. Now it's open for you for uh, your question and answers, or whatever you want to discuss. Uh, thank you so much, sir, uh, for a wonderful presentation and. Uh, a depth knowledge about the concerned topic sir uh, we have uh, a lot many question in the the chat box from the participants if you allow shall i start taking questions yes 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 yeah thank you so much sir uh, before uh, we take question i would request uh, uh, principal sir, sir any inputs from your end or will uh, no dr narendra i'll speak at the end let the let us have the question session now Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so the first question uh, from our participants, Mr. Mayank Kumar. It's my screen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the first question is uh, how to prepare a students mentally for uh, physical activities. Uh, sir, uh, please uh, unmute yourself. So, okay now? Yeah, okay, sir. Sir, shall I repeat the question? Yeah, yes. Yeah, sir, the, the question is from our participant, uh, Mr. Mayank Kumar. How to prepare students mentally for these physical activities or fitness? So, the, the most important first thing is that what is the importance of fit fitness? You have to educate them. The first thing is that you have to educate them that this is the importance. Whatever, what are you losing when you are ha not having this thing? And then role models. The important thing is role models. Show them that these are the role models. These are the values. As I told you, tell them the values. These are the values. And values is one aspect. And if you are not doing these things, what are the harms? Give them a comparative thing. These are the values. This is what you you will get. And this is what you will lose also. Sometimes if I am not doing, I will not get this. Then what? If if not that. You will be. You might lose these aspects also, and then the role models, what they achieve, what they, what are we vouching for? 
why we always wait for Salman Khan to remove his shirt. So they are the role models. This is what is the one achievement. This is how, how better they are doing. What You see the researches, where they are doing better. What are the achievement? Financial, economical, emotional, intellectual, educational, fit, fitness level. How, how much we save in, in the health-related ex, um, expenditures. How much we save from that also. All these, uh, the, that is the important thing. If you can uh, uh, translate this, uh, these values to them, transfer these things, you can convince them and we must be able to convince them also when they, when they are coming to you for asking this thing. You must be, they are coming with the open mind. It's, the thing is that you have to convince them. One thing is important, when they come, we have to be very, very careful about their current status and loading. We, If we become over-enthusiastic, over-ambitious and give them overloading at the time in the beginning only, they might run away, they might uh, they might feel comfortable and uh, then uh, the problems comes that they have these and these and these and problems. You should be very, very careful about their status and then how you give them load of training should be very carefully monitored. Start very, very slowly. Don't be over ambitious in turning the tables overnight. Start slowly. Sometimes these things are there non-sports person, non-physical, when they enter in these things, in the beginning only, over-ambitious trainers, over-ambitious um, uh, guides, over-ambitious friends, they sometimes guide them in a way so that uh, uh, they took, they, they go for overloading and then injuries and many side effects are there. And then uh, this uh, make them aversive from the, from the activities. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Sir, uh, next question is our participant Sasi Khan Singh. They have asked the question in Hindi. What is the purpose of our life in our life? Sir, what is the purpose of our life in our life? Sir, please. In my opinion, this is not a very good stage of the life of our life. Because you all have to be connected with the life of our life. You all have to be connected with the life of our life in our life. You all have to be connected. जो सारा ही मैंने आज जो पढ़ाया आपका फिजिकल डेवलपमेंट मेंटल डेवलपमेंट इमोशनल डेवलपमेंट सोशल डेवलपमेंट इंटेलेक्चुअल डेवलपमेंट हेल्थ रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स योर वेलनेस फिजिकल वेलनेस हेल्थ रिलेटेड वेलनेस ये सारी चीजें फिजिकल एजुकेशन या फिजिकल एजुकेशन से जो हम प्राप्त कर रहे हैं चीजें फिजिकल एजुकेशन जब हम बोल रहे हैं तो ये फॉर्मल एजुकेशन ही नहीं है कि आपको फिजिकल एजुकेशन के कोर्स करने हैं वो फिजिकल एजुकेशन है any any type of education which is talking about your improvement of various aspect of body health wellness not health from the point of view of a doctor but health related wellness health related fitness healthy living and prevention of diseases especially cardiovascular cardiorespiratory these these are to 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 a much extent even the the bone density and these things. These things can be avoided when you're doing regular exercises. So all these things can be controlled and uh, problems with the, uh, when many, many old age problems can be controlled. Many of the problems with the ladies can be controlled with the activities and physical education, physical uh, lifestyle, you can say. We can do everything we can do. We can do lifestyle, we can do activity, we can do activity, हमने मानसिक हम बोलते हैं कि शारीरिक मानसिक इंटेलेक्चुअल सारी चीजें की तरह की जितनी चीजें थीं इस हम ये सारी चीजें हम जब प्राप्त कर रहे हैं फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज से फिजिकल फिजिकल एजुकेशन में जो इन चीजों को हमने पढ़ा है चाहे वो हेल्थ एजुकेशन हो चाहे मूवमेंट हो चाहे कोऑर्डिनेशन हो चाहे स्किल रिलेटेड चीज हो चाहे वो स्पोर्ट्स ट्रेनिंग से संबंधित चीज हो तो हम इनके बारे में पढ़ रहे हैं कि भाई ट्रेनिंग से क्या क्या फायदे हो रहे हैं कैसे दी जानी चाहिए कैसे इंप्रूवमेंट होना चाहिए हम बोलते हैं स्ट्रेंथ एंडियोर स्ट्रेंथ है एक चीज एंडियोरेंस दूसरी चीज है लोड तीसरी चीज है तो हम हमें इन सब चीजों के बारे में जानकारी मिलती है बेसिक ज्ञान प्राप्त होता है एंड उसके ऊपर फिर हम जब अगर हम फिजिकल एजुकेशन शब्द ही बोलेंगे तो एक बार हमने ये कर लिया उसके ऊपर हम एलिट स्पोर्ट्स के लिए हम फिर स्पोर्ट्स कोचिंग की तरफ जा सकते हैं उसके हायर है कि उसमें परफॉर्मेंस और एक्सट्रीम लेवल के परफॉर्मेंस एनहेंस परफॉर्मेंस या एक्सट्रीम लेवल परफॉर्मेंस कम्पिटेटिव स्पोर्ट्स की परफॉर्मेंस वो हम फिर स्पोर्ट्स कोचिंग की तरफ जाके उससे कर सकती है तो ये सब चीजें आपस में एक दूसरे से रिलेटेड है 
thank you so much, sir. The next question is, sir, uh, from Mubasir, our participant, what is the main cause of muscle injury during exercise or during play? See, again, I will say that um, there are many, many causes. Some certain causes are impact causes. Certain causes are because of the surface. Certain causes are because of the uh, footwear or wear, whatever you are having. And certain causes are because of the weakness of uh, muscles. Certain causes are because of the uh, uh, lack of uh, flexibility. Certain causes are because of the uh, uh, lack of correct execution of skills. So all these things are main causes of injuries. If you if you check all these things, injuries can be minimized. I don't say that injuries can be uh, controlled fully. At the highest level of sports also, injuries takes place. Just as I started the impact injuries. You are one another, you will be hurting, you will be hurting. Fourth generation direction change because you are in competitive sports, you many times neglect these things. We, we don't always take care of that our leg will be twisted if we go to that. We go over beyond our limits. So stretching it beyond the elastic limits. We will get injuries. So all these are the causes of injuries. Okay? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Sir, uh, the next question is from uh, Tumpa Kumari. How to include a student's how to involve students of physical education in uh, physical activities? See, I told earlier also, I've given the answer to this question, almost the similar type of question in the first question also. Other than job, other than job of physical education teacher, tell them that what are the avenues for physical education? What are the avenues? It is not only now, it is not limited to school teaching or college teaching or university teaching only. There are many, many avenues from management area also. Management and, and you become a professional, uh, you become a uh, graduate, you can participate in any of the competitive exams and now you are having a private uh, uh, private job also, consultancy type of things also you can open. You can have any type of managerial skills, improve your managerial skills through these things because you, you gain knowledge and I think you will be better uh, adjusted, better proving yourself than those who are not having, who are not having uh, proper knowledge or sufficient knowledge and still uh, managing the things. So convince them that these are the areas. They will come. This is a very, very important area and uh, I think uh, the avenues are also better. The scope is uh, quite good because uh, of the job avenues, job uh, opportunities. There are quite a lot of job opportunities. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. So, uh, sir, with your permission, shall I take uh, one more question? Yes. Sir, uh, the, the participants, uh, this is a very common question I can see in the chat box, like uh, participants asking, uh, like uh, the, the planning of physical uh, activities in the school hours and uh, the time allocated for the school. So how that they can manage and how they, they can take up any, <laughs> any uh, this, yes, this is a very, very important question and I think all the physical education or sports person, those we are always concerned about these things. It's a matter of concern. The thing is that we have to still educate and convince the, the school authorities, the parents also, that this is a very, very important aspect. Now in new education policy, these things are becoming mandatory. So in the coming years, you will be seeing this thing as a mandatory thing and not only mandatory on paper, but otherwise also. So these things are there and we have to convince, but still I say, still you can take time out of the school hours also. Why limit it there? I'm not, I'm not justifying that we don't get time in the school hour. It is okay. So we all always should go for out of school hours. We can go out of school hours and try to convince, try to convince the school authority that this is important. Try to convince the children, try to convince the parents. That is most important. Sometimes they are also, 
and because of lack of awareness about this activity they always say this is only for competitive sports no there are many many values which we get through sports activity or physical activity exercise or whatever these values should be told to them and apart from their posture and other medical infirmities and problems and other things we can convince them see don't talk about that this is their career but for maintenance for recreation for all these things this is important aspect and that's why they should understand also and the schools also should start giving the schools actually reflect the the thought process of the society they reflect the thought process whatever is the demand of the society or the parents of the children those who are studying they 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 manage they deviate accordingly so we should we should convince the parents also in that way this is important aspect and a matter of concern for all of us yes uh, thank you so much sir now uh, i would like to uh, invite dr jk sor sir principal sail and cp for his remarks on the sir. sir over to you please thank you uh, dr narendra so a uh, jo session hue hai aapne a uh, jo bhi isko participants se aapko bilkul le saath समझ लिया होगा कि कितने गहरे हैं हमारा ये शारीरिक शिक्षा ये सिर्फ सीमित नहीं है कि सिर्फ क्लासरूम या फिजिकल सिर्फ फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज के तौर से इसमें ये जो शब्द आपने प्रयोग किया है जैसे फिटनेस हेल्थ फिजिकल एजुकेशन स्पोर्ट्स लाइफस्टाइल ये सारे जुड़ा हुआ है ये इतना गहरा है आज की आज के जो टाइम में प्रेजेंट टाइम में कि इनका जो है हर हर क्षेत्र में इनका प्रभाव ये सिर्फ खेल में नहीं है और खेल शारीरिक शिक्षा में नहीं है जो भी क्षेत्र में आप जाइए इसका ये इन इन शब्दों का फिटनेस का हेल्थ का लाइफस्टाइल का स्पोर्ट शारीरिक शिक्षा का इनका प्रभाव हर जगत में है तो प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर विवेक पांडे साहब ने ये बहुत सरल शब्द में सबको बताया गया कि इसको किस तरफ से आपको अपने स्कूल में अपनी भूमिका आपका जिम्मेदारी किस तरफ से इसको निभाना है और इसमें ये भी सरल शब्द ने बताया कि आप इनको किस तरफ से एजुकेट करेंगे आप इनको किस तरफ से समझा देंगे कि ये किस आ, किस तरफ से उनका जिंदगी इसका जो जुड़ा हुआ है उसका लाइफ से कितना ये जुड़ा हुआ है उसका सोशल लाइफ में इसका पर्सनल लाइफ में इसका करियर में कितना असर पड़ता है इसका ये उनको समझाने से एजुकेट करने से आपका जो है बहुत ही आपका जो जिम्मेदारी है ना आपका भूमिका है बहुत ही सरल सरफ से निभा सकता है क्योंकि एक बार आजकल की बच्चे बहुत समझा रहे हैं उनका तो बहुत शार्प है माइंड है अगर आपको उनको एक बार उनको बता पाएंगे कि इनका इतना असर है जैसे कि आप बताया कि हाँ इसका असर कैसे फायदा कैसे है और इसका नुकसान भी कैसे है ये दोनों चीज आपको बताना पड़ेगा फायदा भी बताना पड़ेगा और नुकसान भी किस तरफ से ये इसमें शारीरिक शिक्षा में फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज में जुड़ने से क्या फायदा मिलेंगे उनको किस किस चीज में जैसे कि मेंटल हेल्थ का बारे में बताया फिजिकल हेल्थ का फिटनेस का और किस तरफ से ये सारे चीज बताया है तो एक बार उनको समझा दीजिए सिर्फ बच्चों को नहीं आप उनको भी समझा दीजिए वो जितना उनका पेरेंट्स से स्कूल में जो मैनेजमेंट है पेरेंट्स से उनको भी थोड़ा समझाने के थोड़ा आप ये उनका अगर आपको कोई भी फॉरम में जैसे स्कूल असेंबली हो कॉलेज असेंबली हो या पेरेंट टीचर फॉरम हो इसमें आप एक बार इन चर्चा इन इन बातों में थोड़ा चर्चा हो जाए और उनको बताए कि इस तरफ से ये इनका तो सिर्फ मेरे को लगता है कोई भी ना कर नहीं करेंगे इन इसमें किसी को ये नहीं बोलने के ये नहीं करेंगे क्यों हम इसको क्यों करना है क्योंकि ये इतना इतना अधिक असर इनका हर एक का लाइफ में डे टू डे लाइफ में है और रोल मॉडल्स को वैल्यूज को ये ये सारे चीजें बताया गया है और लेडीज को हाउ ये ज्यादा गर्ल्स की तरफ और स्टूडेंट मोर असर ज्यादा पड़ता है क्योंकि गर्ल्स को इसको एक्सरसाइज करने के मौका बहुत कम मिलते हैं मैदान या ऐसे अगर ये मैदान नहीं मिलते हैं तो दे आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स आप कुछ थिंक करना है ये आप आपको जो घर में जो बहुत ही कम जैसे घर के अंदर जो जगह है उसके अंदर एक मैच वगैरह करके योग 
और एरोबिक्स एक्सरसाइज जुम्बा एक्सरसाइज इस तरफ का एक्सरसाइज करने में कोई ज्यादा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नहीं चाहिए ज्यादा फैसिलिटी नहीं चाहिए आपका फ्लैट है तो आपका फ्लैट में टेरस में कर सकता है या आगे लोन में कर सकता है लेकिन देर इज ए बिल देर इज ए वे अगर आपको ये करने की सोच है तो आप कैसे भी करेंगे अगर ना ही करने हैं तो जितना भी आपका इक्विपमेंट है पूरा आपको सारे चीज दिए जाए फिर भी आप नहीं करेंगे तो पहले आपको ये करना है उनको मन को उनका जो माइंड सेट को बदलना है कि उनको ये माइंड सेट में इंट्रेंसिकली मोटिवेट करना है कि आपको ये करना जरूरी यही है जो पांडे साहब ने जो भी बताया इन चीजों में इन शब्दों में आपने सरल शब्द में आप उनको आपको बता चुका है तो ये भी बताया कि ओवरलोडिंग पे बारे में बताया कि ओवरलोडिंग कई बार नेगेटिव हो जाते हैं तो ज्यादा ओवर एम्बिश से वो ओवरलोडिंग करा देते और ये एडवेस इम्पैक्ट करा देते तो ये सारे चीज से बहुत ही बेहतरीन तरीके से बहुत ही अच्छी तरीके से आपको खेल विज्ञान की सहायद खेल विज्ञान के फैक्ट्स का जो साथ जोड़ के आपको सबको बहुत अच्छी तरह बताया है मेरे को ये पूरा उम्मीद है कि आपको इसका फायदा पूरा उठाएंगे और आप अपने स्कूल में जहां भी हो अभी हमारा करीबन पांच हजार लोग जुड़ा हुआ अगर आप पांच हजार लोग पांच हजार स्कूल में इनका आप ये, ये इसका आप थोड़ा प्रेरणा देंगे बच्चों को और मैनेजमेंट को और बच्चों को लाएंगे इसका असर तो बहुत ज्यादा पड़ेगा अब बिल्कुल आप इनको बहुत न्यू कैन कॉर्नर ऑफ द कंट्री तक हम पहुंचा सकता है तो मैं एक बार फिर आदरणीय बी सी साहब प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर विवेक पांडे साहब का आभार व्यक्त करता हूं कि उनको इतना समय उनका तो अभी बहुत ही बिजी शेड्यूल है तो फिर भी आके हमारा साथ दो तीन घंटे बिताया मैं उनको हमारी पर एक एक बार आपको उनको बहुत ही शुक्रिया अदा करता हूं एंड ओवर टू डॉक्टर नरेंद्र धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर so uh, thank you once again uh, uh, sir for taking a wonderful session and making all, many doubts clear of the participants and sir we are really thankful uh, to you on behalf of uh, ministry of education on behalf of ministry of youth affairs and sports as per authority of india and uh, lakshmi national college of physical education tiruvananthapuram on behalf of entire organizing committee our uh, principal sir uh, ix extend my extremely thanks to you for joining and sharing your available time and expertise with the participants thank you so much sir thank and, you uh, thank you yes sir, sir uh, there are a few questions still left uh, we'll try to share uh, with uh, you and uh, if you find some time then please reply and then we can reply to the participants so uh, thank you so much sir okay thank you thank you everyone thank you sir koshar sir thank you thank you sir thank you very much thank you all the participants Sir, you love to tell about the next session to them. Yes, sir. So, uh, uh, dear participants, uh, there is an announcement for the second session of today's. So, there will be a session on planning and executing a play session, and the speaker for the session will be Dr. Ranjit Singh Rabat, Sports Officer, Government College, Sanbar, Indore, Madhya Pradesh. I again repeat, we'll have second session of today's that will start at 3 p.m. till 4:30 p.m. the topic of the session will be planning and executing a play session the speaker of the session will be dr ranjit singh rabat sports officer government college sanbar indore madhya pradesh so uh, please connect that session and a few more announcements many of participants are asking that it's compulsory to attend both the session yes participants you have to attend morning session 10 11 to 12 30 and then uh, afternoon session that is second session 3 pm to 4:30 pm so total we will have a uh, 40 sessions two sessions every day as per the schedule forwarded to you regarding attendance participants you have to log in in the zoom session and you have to give feedback that is poll we launch after every session you have to participate in that and any query any question you can please drop in the chat box and question answer section we'll take up and you can mail to the email id that given in your registration emails thank you once again all the participants for joining the session and connecting with us we'll see you in the next session uh, sir uh, selby close the session thank you thank you so much thank you participants thank you sir.
Participant, the poll has been already launched. You please take part in that. 